I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm this, what's your name? Don Markusic. And you are from Croatia, right? You yes, said. but I'm also, I grew up in Australia. You grew up in Australia? I'm originally Croatian, of course, but I live in Zagreb now. You live in Zagreb now. Yes. And when did you hear first time from the beginning you well, heard from about the first this? day, of course, because we're Croatian, so we heard it and from day one. What did you think when you heard about this? Well, well, very happy about that. So the first time I came, I was living in Australia, of course. Yeah. The first time was in 89, after I finished university. Yeah. I was, uh, you know, traveling Europe and I came to Medjugorje. Uh -huh. You knew Medjugorje, you know? Oh, yes, so wonderful. It was wonderful. But I mean, you, you knew it before the operations. You heard about this place. You know well, that it was a small town here in Herzegovina. Well, I didn't. I didn't know about Medjugorje, the town. I knew about Herzegovina and uh -huh. uh, you know Croatia, uh -huh. of course, my family. Uh -huh. But um, but yeah, but with the operations came. You know, from day one, I, I heard about it. Yeah, because uh, yeah. news from Croatia. And what did you think? No, absolutely. Uh, you know, happy about that. And then I couldn't wait to visit. And I went to visit uh, as soon as I finished university. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it was a wonderful experience. And I, what what happened when you came? Well, it was um, it was very humbling. Mm -hmm. It was a bit different from today. Uh, mm -hmm. It was much less, uh, you know, buildings and things. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, it was a uh, very, very lovely experience. Yeah. Wow. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. Did you he receive any healing or graces here? Well, you know, um, I didn't. I didn't see any anything like that. Like, uh, uh, but it you know, strengthened my faith. So, uh -huh. Yeah, I had a very, very good, uh, good experience, and some things happened in terms of, uh, you know, you might say coincidence, but I thought it God was incident. Uh, was coincidence. But I was really led. I was led. So uh -huh. in that way, when I think about it, I was actually led along the way. You know, finding a place to stay when it was a, um, you know, very busy time of the year. And uh, but yeah, I just put it down to the to our lady wanting me to be here. Yeah. And how often came you back? Came back here then well, over the I years? Been, I wish it could have been more, but I've only been back two or three times since. Uh -huh. and we've arrived today because yeah. we're going to a conference in Mostar. Yeah. And we thought, well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go on our way to the conference. We'll go and visit Medjugorje uh -huh. and uh, you know, pray for our intentions. And uh, we're going to, we're only going to be here a short time, but go to the conference. So while we're here, uh -huh. we cannot visit, we cannot visit Medjugorje. Wow. And what would you tell people who don't know about Medjugorje? Why should they come here, even not Catholics? What is so special? Why should they come? Well, I think they should come because um, it's a very peaceful place. Yeah. So I don't think you have to be religious Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, being ca Catholic. Yeah. I think just to experience um, yeah. uh, the, the peace and the love and uh, yeah, tranquility. I think it's uh, you know the lovely, you know, you know the lovely mass. I think um, no, it's, it's, it would be wonderful to visit. I think they would go back home. You know, maybe not experience something miraculous, but still something to um, in this with the world it is today, especially the way the world is today, uh -huh. to have some uh, some peace and uh, reflection. Thank you so much for that beautiful interview. Uh, thank you.